Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I have a collective um, Halloween haul I wanted to share with you guys. I haven't posted in a while, but I do have quite a few things to open. Um, I've been hoarding them because I wanted to share, so I haven't really opened anything, but I do want to get stuff put away. So, um, I'm happy I'm finally going to get to share, so let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to share was a Halloween um, collection that I picked up on Peachy Cheap. And uh, I was actually really bummed because I didn't pick up two of them. But when I went back to try to get one more, they were already sold out. And um, yeah, so I was upset about that. But it's the... Um, Prima 31 collection that everybody's hauling. So let me show you what I got with uh, Peachy Cheap. So it came with the six by six um, paper pad. And let me see. If I can... I'm sure everybody has seen this now. Now I wasn't gonna get any of this because, you know, I didn't wanna like pay full price on scrapbook.com and I really didn't need another, you know, um, whole collection. So I just figured I would wait and buy it little by little. But since I saw it here, I went ahead and picked it up. And so you get this six by six. Super cute. This is one of my favorite um, pages. And it also came with the puffy stickers. It came with um, 135 pieces of uh, ephemera. And those are the ones that are including in this package. And another ephemera that has 27 pieces. And these are the ones included in this one. It also came with this Heidi Swap decorative tape and I think they threw it in there because of the colors. So I thought that was neat. Now, I'm pretty sure that it came with a set of flowers. Uh, I'm not sure, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Since I let the kids help me open the packages, I couldn't find the flowers. So I still don't know if they it did or didn't have flowers, but I'm pretty sure it did. And I'm pretty sure I will find them somewhere here eventually. So uh, yeah, that's all that came in that. And that was $20. So that was pretty good for a this 31. Next, I got some Halloween stuff on HSN. And I purchased these um, Halloween Anna Griffin cut and emboss folders. And this is what you get. So you get two folders. And one of them has the candy skull, pumpkin, the witch, and the moon. And these have a lot of detail. And the other one is the owl, the cat, the bat, and the jack-o'-lantern. See if you can see the detail here. Now, I didn't go too crazy on that um, craft day because Anna Griffin stuff is just so expensive, and um, you know sometimes you can find 
find similar dyes on Alley. So if I really like something, I'll go ahead and buy it on HSN, but otherwise I'll either wait till it goes on sale or look for it on AliExpress. Um, I also picked up this LDRS Haunted House. And this one here. It came with that house stamp, the die, and these super cute little um, figures. Look at the little witch. And what I like about LDRS is that it has a die for basically everything. It, I know it's super tiny and you have to use your tweezers for these pieces, but it's super cute. And here's what a, one of the main projects looks like. So there's that. And then I picked up this um, diamond press uh, bat flyer kit. Let me show you. So it's this kit right here. And it comes with stamps. So it has these right here. Haunted house. comes with a um, cutting folder. With the dies. And these bats. And I guess you um, put together these bats and you wind it up and you put it inside the card and when the person opens the card, the, the bat will fly out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to try that. So I got this. And I got one more diamond press item for Halloween. And that was this. Now, it's a, another uh, little house. This one's a little bit different. I have a thing for houses, so I don't know why, but if, you know, there's a house die out there, I usually try to get it. So this is what you can do with this one here. I like this house because, uh, you know, it has a lot of pieces and details. And then this one came with these here. And also these dies. The next Halloween item I picked up or items are from Michaels. They didn't have much. I'm kind of glad they didn't have much because I really didn't need much else. But I picked up this uh, eight by eight paper pad. I think I just, oh my goodness, this thing will not come apart. Let's see, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this here, let me, I really like this paper pad. So I picked this one up. And I 
Oh, sorry about the shakiness, guys. I picked up the stickers. And then I picked up the, uh, an assorted glitter set. And I got it because of the little skulls. And last but not least for the Halloween items, I went to Joann's. And I saw everyone hauling um, this paper pad. So it's the DCWV Halloween Town. And again, I'm sure you guys have seen this already also. So I went ahead and picked this one up. One of the reasons I picked this one up was because uh, a while back I bought these houses at Hobby Lobby, those plain cardboard houses. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to, to make these with the kids. So that's why I picked this one up. And I couldn't find any stickers or anything at Joann's, so I picked up the sticker book. I just thought it was super cute. And you know, you can mix and match everything, so I thought it kind of went well with it too. The little ghost um, and the candy corn kind of match. And this was only um, like a dollar, I think. And that is it for all my Halloween items. Now I have lots of stuff to share with you guys. I did go to Hobby Lobby and I also have some um, other diamond press, some more peachy cheap and Dollar Tree, so stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.